please perform a dance. Hello you guys, this is me, Dreamon, aka the Belgian Waffle, and this time I'm gonna do a game called the Stanley Parable. Now, this game has been out a while, I know, but it's only been recently advised by someone in my channel on a different video to actually play this and review it. Now, this review is gonna be a little bit different compared to other reviews I did in the past, because this game is simply too difficult and too inconsistent to actually review it. So this review is now gonna be a little bit more spontaneous and a little bit different than you're used to of my old review videos. Now, first of all, I'm gonna let you guys hear the intro so that you actually understand what I mean with that this game is inconsistent and pretty difficult to review in the normal way employee number 427 now for in case you guys haven't noticed yet I'm gonna do a playthrough review because this game doesn't lend itself very well to doing a review in the way that I normally would do because this game has just way too many narrative dialogues and this makes it very difficult to bring the point of the game across to you guys with doing it the normal way I would normally do but Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure what if he had to make a decision what if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Now, as you may have noticed, these long stretch dialogues are done on purpose in this game. However, not everybody will find this just as fun. A little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. No, the game hasn't crashed. This is just one of those silly ways that this game punishes you for not following the instructions of the narrator. It just basically starts over again if something has gone wrong with the story. Or, if the bad choices that you make distort the story in such a way that you make a tear in the space-time continuum and that you land in a different dimension. Or whatever. What's going on here? I'm so bulgy. My stomach sticks way out in front and my... All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? And you might actually end up triggering something that's completely silly like this. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> Or the game fucks with your mind so much that it can actually make the simple minded make their head explode. Like this for example. The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Okay, I'll Onward follow. Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Maybe. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Okay, now you're Simply losing me. By the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of what? the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Now, this loading screen actually explains a lot about the game because there is actually an infinite loop of possibilities in this game. It can actually never end, or at least I haven't ended it. And each time you start over, something will change in the level itself. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his These doorways can also randomly change into any combination, let's say for example this one. Know. How about this direction? Or this one. When Stanley wait, wait, what? No I'm... no I restarted. I swear I definitely restarted the game over completely. Maybe right. this one. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Or even this one. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. 
Now, I must apologize to you guys if I have been misleading you by actually making you believe that I do not like this game. It's actually exactly the opposite. I do like this game. I like it a lot. Because this is something that is going completely the other direction than the other games in the last couple of years. But I'm not mentioning any names. <coughs> but at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. A left door? Now what I like most about this game is that it actually throws away much of the logic that you would normally expect and that it actually laughs with itself and also with other games. Often you'll have no clue if they're even being serious or not. Get even further off track. So now in order to get back he needed to go um... From here it's um... Left. Oh no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? Actually, I think I'm quite sure that the game is not taking itself very seriously. Because it's simply a parody about things that go wrong in other games or other media. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. And as a result, you can actually break the whole game. Welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago. So basically this game is laughing with the fact that in other games you are giving the illusion of free choice, while you actually aren't. Oh Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? And that the game needs to hold you by the hand from point A to point B. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Or another point that this game laughs with from other games is that for example you are forced to play it their way, otherwise you can't progress. Okay, now go climb on employee419's desks. This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley, I like that. Alright, let's keep it up. Honestly, I cannot understand why some people do not like this game because it actually laughs with everything that is wrong with the gaming industry these days. It even laughs with its own spoilers. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. However, I can understand some of the opinions that some people have about this game because I do agree that it might not appeal to everybody, that this game doesn't last that long for one, and as a second point, that narrator's dialogues may last too long for some people, and the third and last point is that this game is in an infinite loop of restarts. So I know this might not appeal to everybody, but at least don't break it down before you've tried it. It can be pretty fun. Through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I think I'll choose the escape this time. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. <laughs> what does he know? So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. I make fantastic choices, man. Huh? What? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body killing him instantly. That's not funny, man. <laughs> you in full retard, man.
and yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game. Shall I pull it? No, don't! Oh yes, I will. Stop now, Oh my god. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time And I'll see you guys next time.